Ashley, you recognize what this is? It's an electromagnet. How do you know? Because I made one at home. Well, here, use this one and tell me what you did. Okay. First of all, I took a, a big iron nail, mm -hmm. right? And then I wrapped lots of wire around it, mm -hmm. right? And then I attached it to a battery, just okay. like that. Okay, here's the battery and here's the connection. Right. And then what'd you do with it? Then I, then I put it in a pile of paper clips. Paper clips right there. Go ahead, right. put it in. Why doesn't it pick them up? Because there's no electrical current going around. Okay, they're now all connected. Go ahead, put it in there again. Okay, you're now connected. Now what'll happen when I really turn the current off? They'll probably all fall down. They didn't. Not all of them, at least. No. You know what that's called? Residual magnetism. Residual, yeah, what does that word mean? It means left over. Yeah, actually what has happened, Ashley, when you uh, had the magnetism go through the nail, you actually lined up some of the molecules of the nail sort of in line. That's what happens when you magnetize something. So they're still magnetized. Strange. How do you get rid of it, you know? Um, no, I don't. Well, you take the nail and hammer it, or you heat it. Anything to jar the molecules around so they're, they're in all different directions again. Okay. Now, how do you make the magnet stronger? I wonder if we wanted to pick up more paper clips. Just add a bigger ma magnet. Mm -hmm. Just add a bigger magnet. In other words, bigger nail, you mean? Uh, no, a bigger magnet, like this. Or a bigger, bigger um, battery. battery. Oh, right. I see. Bigger battery. True, right. you can put a couple of them in there. But now, let's assume we have the same amount of current. How do we make it stronger? I don't know. Why did you wind so many coils around? To make more magnetism. Yes, because as the current goes through the wire, there's magnetism around each one of these coils. So the more coils you have, the, the more, more magnetism. magnetism. And then why did you put the iron nail in there? So to concentrate the magnetism. Yes, to concentrate it. Well, now you get the idea of, a, of how an electromagnet works. Here's one you may not have seen. But see that? You can see all the little coils of wire in there? Yeah. Hundreds of turns. Okay. What does this correspond to? The nail. Yes. But notice this one has iron around the outside, too called an iron-clad magnet. So okay. it captures all the magnetism. Then there's a keeper that goes on like that. Okay. And then we can turn it upside down here. And here's a very tiny battery, which I will connect to produce the, uh, the uh, electromagnetism. Okay. But instead of putting paper clips from here, we're gonna put Ashley. What? We're gonna hang you right from here, and you're gonna be suspended by the magnetism produced by that little battery. That little teeny weeny well, battery. That's right, come on. I'll show you. Help. <laughs> okay. One electromagnet ready to go to work. I'm not too sure about well, that. Well, I have a cord on here, so you can't fall too far. Go ahead, try it. Feet off the ground? Yeah. Okay, now, Ashley, I'm going to disconnect the battery. What should happen? I'm going to fall. Okay, here you go. Pretty strong, right? Mm-hmm. Well, because of an iron-clad magnet and a tiny little battery.